Hey, what's up? Simon Kelly here. Now in this video, what I want to show you how to do is to take a featured image, an image that you created in Figma and export that and then set it as a featured image in WordPress. Now Figma is a design tool. It's pretty awesome. It's a, a really, it's like kind of like a browser based um, tool of like design mixed with Google Docs in the way that you can collaborate on something with someone else at the same time. It's pretty amazing. It's uh, really fast and, and I reckon it's really easy to use. So let's dive in and check it out. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to create an image in Figma. Now I have some that I prepared earlier. Well, someone else prepared earlier. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one, the checklist for the funnel kit here. I'm going to click on this title, which is the frame. I'm going to click on that. And as long as I'm using this tool here, if I scroll down, there's the export function available there. Now I'm going to make sure that's set to JPEG because that's what I want to export as. Uh, JPEGs for images like this will generally be a good mix of um, uh, low file size and um, high quality image. So I'm going to click on export there and then I'm just going to change the name um, to check list for the funnel kit. All right, Mavericks Club, check that in there. Save. All right, fantastic. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to optimize this image to make it as fast and small as possible while maintaining um, good, um, good quality of the image. So there are many, many tools for this. Uh, one of the online tools I really like is Tiny PNG or Tiny um, JPEG. They're both the same, the same tool. So tinypng.com or tinyjpeg.com. Uh, does the same thing. So you can do upload PNGs or JPEGs and it'll reduce the file size. You just drag and drop it there and it'll give you the new download link. But I've recently found, well, in the last six months or so, this tool called THMaker X. Now, it's a difficult one to remember, so I've got that pinned in my doc. Now, I've um, set up the settings here so it outputs as a JPEG, it puts a um, underscore RS, which is just resize, um, in the file name. This is just something I like to do so it doesn't replace the original file. Uh, and then I don't want it to be bigger than uh, 2000. So that's uh, my settings there and the image resolution I've got at 72. And you can see some of the other settings. So now I'm going to go into my downloads folder where I had that image and I'm going to just drag and drop that image into THMaker X. And you can see it was 664 kilobytes and now it's 187 so it's reduced quite a lot. So the next thing we want to do is go over to WordPress and set this as the featured image. So I'm going to go over to uh, Mavericks Club. So I've already got the um, the page ready there. Um, what I want to do is add this as a featured image for this resource that we've got here, the checklist for the funnel kit. So I'm just going to click on that. Now this could be a, um, a, a blog post, it could be a custom post type. This is a custom post type called resources. Uh, if you're interested in learning about custom post types, um, have a look on YouTube or have a look in Google for that. But this, um, for now, we're just going to look at how to add a featured image to a post. So I'm going to click on that and then I'll just click in here, edit. So depending on the post type you're looking at, it might say edit post or whatever that is, but this is a resource. So edit resource, I'll click on here. All right. So now in the sidebar, I've got an area that says featured image. Okay, and it says set featured image. If it's collapsed like this, you just want to click to open it up and click set featured image. Now you can either drag and drop from your desktop or files or whatever that is, or you can click on upload files. I'm just going to go back to uh, my downloads and I'm just going to drag and drop. Fantastic. Uh, usually here would add in an alt text uh, to make it more search engine friendly, but because this is a membership area, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go set featured image and then I'll click update. Excellent. I'm going to go view resource now and then go back to the place where the featured image would actually appear, which is resources. And there it is looking fantastic. So that's how you uh, get an image that you created in Figma, you export it, and then you add it as a featured image into WordPress. I hope you found that helpful.